Okay, we're in Bitwig and we just opened a new project. So what we're going to go over today is how to mess around and get some pretty cool sounds, even if you're not a sound designer, out of Polysynth. So let's pull that into the project. And let's go down here and let's just explore a few of these knobs. Now I'm going to play something on my MIDI controller. And you're going to hear like, you know, there's nothing real special about that. It's decent sounding synth. How do we get some cool sounds out of that? So this here is the main knob, and, and a lot of the synthesizers have this knob called the filter, which allows it to basically become nice and warm or nice and crunchy. So there's that. So you can adjust that and make it warm or crunchy. One fun thing about the filter, if you've never messed with the synthesizer before, is the knob that's usually next to it, which is called the resonance. What it actually does, technically, we're not going to go over, but if, just get this. If you turn it up, and then you play something, while turning the filter knob down and up, listen to how it sounds. You get that wah-wah sound. Which is kind of fun. So why don't we immediately throw some effects? And you could do that by just clicking effects here and this little plus. And let's add a delay. And let's go to the next one and add a reverb. Now let's hear how this sounds while we're messing with the knobs. So we, we immediately just took this kind of vanilla sounding preset in the synth and boosted it up pretty cool. Now, I like plucky sounds in my synth, and it's real easy to make plucky sounds with this um, synthesizer. So let's just take the filter about halfway and take the resonance maybe about quarter. And we're going to get a sound like that. Well, we want to take this EG, which stands for envelope. Again, we're not going to get into the details of this. Just know that if you start turning this knob up, and then turning this D knob down, eventually it's going to start plucking on you. And you could adjust the amount of pluck with filter, or a little bit of here, and a little bit of here, and you just mess with these three knobs till you find a pluck sound that you like, and that's how you make plucks. Now, we're just using one waveform here. This polysynth has two waveforms we can use. Now, all this probably doesn't make sense if you're not a synth, but anyway, just follow, just I highly encourage people to just start turning knobs, even if you don't know what they do. That's the way you're going to learn. Well, one knob we're going to turn is we're going to add some more of Waveform 2, which is this guy. This is a mix between Waveform 1 and 2, and down here is Waveform 2. Waveform 2 on its own sounds like this. It actually sounds pretty good on its own. Um, but when we mix it with Waveform 1, let's hear how it sounds. It's pretty fat. But now, if we ch just changed a tiny little bit, the pitch of one of the waveforms will get like a stereo effect. Check this out. That's all fun and good, but we can now adjust how high the octave is of each of these waveforms. Let's just mess around with this one. And then let's just start messing around with knobs, even if we don't know what they do.
so just wanted to take a few minutes and uh, show you what PolySynth can do just by turning a few knobs. Um, I highly encourage you to open up PolySynth, turn all the knobs while you're playing. You can't break anything on this. And just start getting in, in touch with your inner sound designer self. I know a lot of people aren't really into that and they like presets. And that's very nice. And that's why we have this folder here with all the presets. But it's nice to just screw around with your own sounds and come up with your own stuff. And you never know what kind of cool stuff you come out with. So let's play with this a minute more while we uh, wrap up the video and see if we can come up with anything cool. Let's throw a little drum beat in there and see if we come up with something cool. So we got, um, it's okay here. And did I mess something up? No, good. And where's our samples and clips? Okay, let's do like um, loops. And let's just type uh, drums. That's weird. That's interesting. Let's use it. Cool. All right, and let's just chuck another poly. See, I'm in create mode now. Let's chuck another poly synth in. So let's go to um, devices and just, just shortcut over to PolySynth. Bring that into another. And let's, let's use, load a preset into this one. And we'll go to category, synth bass, and let's find a cool bass sound. Something like that. That's cool. Base square. All right. So what did I play? I forgot what I played. Okay. Let's do it. kind of wild let's quantize it it wasn't good this video is only supposed to be a poly synth i don't know why i got into this but this is how i make videos and um let's just uh, let's quantize that let's quantize that and let's hear how they all sound <laughs> We'll do one more thing with PolySynth. Let's go take a PolySynth, chuck it in here, and open it up. Lo make it a little warm. Add a nice fat reverb at the end of it. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to do a little nice little pad sound. So I'm going to make the attack like that. All right, here we go. 
Listen to what we did here. Get the idea. So, recommendation for today: open up some synths. Does this camera work? Open up some synths. Makes twist some knobs. Come up with some cool sounds. Make some cool music. I'll see you next video.